I know, I know, I know, two hot and heavy videos in a row. But because I made that first video on the husband that refuses to allow his wife to lose weight, so he slathered whipped cream all over his bodies in hopes that his wife, who was so addicted to sugar, would quit her diet. I then got recommended the banger. Fat phobic comments ruins date. And well, what can I say? I was very intrigued as to what fat phobic comment ruins the whole date. And why would a guy go on a date with a fat woman if he does not like fat women? And I also thought that the men on this show had a thing for fat women. That's why they called it hot and heavy because they got the hots for a lady that's heavy. So I'm intrigued. You're intrigued. They are definitely intrigued. So you guys all know what time it is. It's another fat chick video. Oh, hit it. Wait, no, not yet. Butters came in to say, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so I can stop asking you to get me to 700,000 because once we hit that, I'll be asking for 800,000. <laughs> hey, we have no secrets here. I put it all on the table so you know what you're getting into. Let's start. So we meet Adriana and Ricardo and this happy couple have been together for two, count them, two years. My name is Adriana and I'm 23. I'm Ricardo and I'm 23 and we're from Newfoundland, Canada. Question to the people who watch this show regularly. A pattern is starting, because I'm starting to watch the show. Every couple I've seen so far has been together for only two years. I've watched three episodes, two with you guys, one on my own, and it seems two years is like that sweet spot, the magic number. People who watch the series, is this a normal thing? So they both are 23 years old and Adriana, or Adriana, met Ricardo by him sliding into her DMs. No, wait, I'm sorry. He didn't slide into her DMs. He just started commenting on all her pictures. Maybe I had an agenda, maybe I didn't. Fellas? Sometimes it works. Well, two years later, they are happy. They're in love. The love is strong. They're going down food aisles for some snack. The snack aisle. Kind of feeling some chocolatey chocolate. Yeah. And they have a little baby. Apparently, Ricardo is like the sweetest guy ever and really accepts Adriana for who she is, what she is, and the size she is. Of course, I'm talking about that body. Gross. For months, me and Ricardo were talking long distance, and when we finally met each other in person, I was still really self conscious. Like, I was going in the bathroom and like, closing the door to change my clothes and stuff. And he just basically told me like, you know, you don't have to worry about that. You know what, that's actually extremely sweet. Every woman wants a guy that doesn't critique her weight or her looks or her body or looks at her in absolute disgust. You know, I think men appreciate that too. No one wants their loved one or someone they'd like to look at them like they're big at yeah! or job of the hut. Like, no one wants their loved one to look at them like that. But I totally feel her or what she's going to. I used to cover up when I would change in front of Garrett. Not to say that I was ever big as her, but when I was a little bigger before I met Garrett, you feel kind of shameful even when I got fit because you always just kind of feel obese or like chunky or something like that And I know some of you guys don't get it and whenever I specifically talk about this you all say you weren't that big or you're fit Michelle You don't get it, you know invalidating my feelings But as a woman or as women we are taught to hate our bodies at least in my era early 2000s And certain men would also say certain comments just so that you can feel horrible about yourself like complete cow poop so that you keep your confidence low and that you'll be more inclined to stay with them. I'm not sure why that thought process or why that works for some women, but it works for some women. I will personally crack your fingers off if I let you tap that ass and then you critique that ass. Anyway, but I feel her and it absolutely felt amazing when Garrett was like, why are you covering up? You don't need to do that. So I get her. Like, I think you're the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life. I started opening up with him and I just like realized that he was really a good person. And I'm sure many other men and women can relate to being embarrassed of their body and then finding someone that is not embarrassed of their body or absolutely loves it. Which makes me question, is he going to fat shame her? And at the same time, it's all very sweet and everything, but then there's that like line where he loves your body, but it's also not a healthy body. Like would we be eyeing and being like, oh, what a sweet guy. If you said this to a woman that is just a skeleton, absolutely not. We would be horrified and think he's a sick freak, right? So why do we as people, I do it too, you know, with this couple, we say, aw, he loves her for who she is. Well, what if who she is is a skeleton she don't like to eat? Why do we do this? We were laying in bed and she was very obviously uncomfortable and 
I just felt like in that moment, I had to just let you know, like, you know, it's okay, I love you. And it just mm -hmm. came out of my mouth. And, and then I was crying and I was just like, I love you too. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that is very cute. But where is the fat phobia? Where is the drama? Very sweet, I must reiterate. But we want to see the fat phobic man. Two weeks after Ricardo moved out here, I found out I was pregnant. I mean, it just feels fast, but you know, not my life. It's just now you have to learn how to get into the routine of living together, which is a whole thing. Learning about each other, which is normal when you move in with someone that you love, but then you're doing it all while you're pregnant. I would be so irritated. Hormones just seeping out, going every which way, attitude everywhere. But you know what? This is not about me, it's about them. So it seems like they probably had a great time. My pregnancy was horrible. Oh, never mind. <laughs> to say the least. See, this is why I can't with the whole pregnancy, personally, for me, because she was shocked that she got pregnant, which I'm so confused how adults are like shocked that they get pregnant when they're having the most <laughs> Every single day. That increases your chances of pregnancy. Not sure why many adults uh, don't know that, but it does. That's fine, it's fine, but I can't do pregnancy because she's like all shocked that she got pregnant, right? Has this horrible pregnancy. She's literally carrying a whole ass human. She's already heavy and that's added weight. And the husband's just like, <laughs> oops. <laughs> to say the whole time I was just super moody, uncomfortable. Awful. No sex drive. Huh. I was so uncomfortable my whole pregnancy as I carried our son. Very moody, hormones everywhere, feet hurt, couldn't sleep for like nine months. Cried every night too. Yeah, and she didn't wanna me. Ricardo, the girl that has the mic that's not even plugged in, computer's not even on my desk. I think you're kind of dumb. I thought you were a nice guy because to me, a nice guy wouldn't be worried about his penis while his wife is suffering through carrying their son. Another reoccurring topic and this hot and heavy thing, it always comes back. The guys always bring it back to the penis. Rusty, the first guy we talked about, wife's going on a diet. Oh no, now she won't lick whipped cream off my Ricardo. Wife is having the worst time of her life for nine months. She won't play with my <laughs> Ricardo? You lost points. And I swear to God, if you are a guy agreeing with Ricardo, F you. <laughs> and not the way that you want. <laughs> not that. The angry kind of F you. Anyway, I'm sure the process was just fine. Look at them. They're laughing. Yeah. <laughs> it was fine. It was crazy. We just went from just meeting each other to me finding out I was pregnant and then there's a newborn. We're going home. Oh, the little potato baby getting ready to go home with parents that just kind of met and they're very young, you know? I mean, it's gonna be a wild ride. Even when you know what you're doing, the road of parenthood or the ride of parenthood is wild. Oh, hi Yoshi, are you visiting us today? Ooh, come here. She stuck her face in a bush and got a cornea ulcer, yay! Anyway, back to the bouncing baby boy. Everybody always, makes it seem like, oh my gosh, it's the hardest job in the world. And like, it is, but it's like really positive and like happy and like, I can't imagine my life without him. And that is the best. If you are a parent and you're one of them who say being a parent is freaking hard, but it's the best thing I've ever experienced. Hard, but best thing. I love watching my kids grow. I'm just excited about being a mom or dad. And you're like shaking your baby. I don't shake them. I might be a dog mom, but I'm pretty sure I, w I was a nanny most of my, not most of my life, because I'm 33 now, but through my nanny years, I'm pretty sure you're not allowed or you're not supposed to shake a baby. Do you want like granola bars or anything? You're getting all the unhealthy stuff. Okay, so another reoccurring action. The men eat very unhealthy, but they seem to be able to control themselves or like not overeat as much as the women. The women clearly have a problem, overeating problem. They're addicted to sugar and they become very, very overweight, which makes the pair very toxic when it comes to health, in my opinion. Coming from someone who has a problem with food, at least in my past when I couldn't control myself, I started gaining a little bit of weight when me and Garrett got together because he can control himself with food. Me? I cannot, or I even like through my fit years, I still had to learn to be able to incorporate that food in my life, but also stop. The problem is, is that a lot of us women cannot stop. 
And that if you get with a guy that just has these food laying around, guess what you're going to be eating? Also, men have higher metabolisms than us, which is very annoying, but something we have to deal with. I personally can eat more than Garrett. So just something that we all have to look out for as ladies. Annoying, but something you should think about. I have always loved bigger women because I find them to be more feminine looking and softer and it's no different to me than saying I like redheads or brunettes. Or it's actually, it's, it's quite different. You're not going to die from being a redhead or a brunette. Redheads aren't going to drop dead from heart failure, no matter what South Park tells you. Ginger kids are born with a disease. Oh, shit. It's quite different. Very sweet what he said, but you know, in reality, it, it's very different. Whatever, and you know, anybody else, if anybody feels like they should be ashamed of it, you shouldn't. It, you know, it's everybody likes different things. I agree. Everyone does love different things, but with this, I mean, it's very sweet. But also, once again, it crosses that line of if you love them, don't you want them to be healthy? Love ya. Love you too. You know, same with bodybuilding. I'm very attracted to like that super lean anime extreme look, veins pumping from the neck. But I also know, you know, in real life, not the healthiest thing. Anyway, so then the next scene is Adriana and Ricardo, you know, they're at the park making out. Mm, you're so warm. I'm not, I'm freezing. You feel warm. <laughs> They just can't keep their hands off of each other. They love each other, that's a great thing. So they wanted to go to the park on like a mini date. Adrienne and I never really got to just date and be, you know, young and wild and free. Yep, babies will do that. Also, kind of good because a lot of young people will have kids and then just like, toss the baby at the grandma, and then they're out like partying all the time like their friends who don't have kids. So anyway, they're having just a really nice time and Ricardo has S-E-X on his mind. He's a little, little horn dog. It's a little cold to do what I want to do out here today. What do you want to do? Oh. I have to say they are very cute. You know, Ricardo, you little horny mother As far as physical goes, there is nothing better than a little waist and some wide hips. So I do like the drama and I do like seeing people like happy, but also I like fat phobia and I demand, where is it? Because I'm pretty sure it was promised to us. Nobody stops talking about this place. Mm -hmm. My relationship with food has been like good and bad because I love food, but at the same time, big women liking food is like frowned upon for some reason. Not anymore, thanks to our queen, Lizzo. Oh wait, never mind. She's been dethroned. Anyway, I know many big women, they like hate to eat in public because the moment a big girl gets a big burger, everyone's like, do you really think you should be eating that? And they do the same thing the moment a big girl says she's hungry. Like, are you really? Sure, you're hungry, you? I totally get it, but also watching a very obese person say they love food, like one, we kind of know that, but two, imagine an anorexic person saying they hate to eat. You would kind of like, ugh, yeah. D I, you need some help, right? I personally think that's how people see like obese people like putting down a lot of food, like, you sure you need that? but I wanna be able to enjoy it. As she should, if she's not out here saying, obesity is healthy, it's so much fun, you should love your body like this because it's totally fine and healthy. It's the most wonderful thing you could be. I have no problem with it. Enjoy the time you have uh, being obese. Cradle that heart, kiss those knees that are working right now because it's it's gonna get bad. How is this it? This spoon is weird. <laughs> it's really good. We found the fat phobia part, which was absolutely so natural and definitely wasn't one of the producers from TLC doing this so they can make a very bland and boring episode have something that will make the people watching it who don't really understand reality showbiz upset. This felt so scripted, it's funny. What is TLC's obsession? I have to ask, what is TLC's obsession with cows? If you remember in my one of my ta Tammy videos, I showed you a clip of where Tammy was just talking, being, Tammy just talking and they, while she's talking, cut to a cow 
on the farm. And then the cow didn't even moo. TLC editors had to input a moo sound effect in there, pretty much calling Tammy a cow. Now they have their producers, allegedly, driving by with these cow comments. TLC is obsessed with cows, but let's play along with TLC's little game, okay? I'm down for it. Adriana seems extremely authentically upset. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> And I feel extremely bad for her. So TLC, it's working, you assholes, because I highly doubt she's an actor, okay? She's crying real tears of a fat girl being called fat in public in front of her boyfriend. <laughs> Can we like... I don't even want this now. I really wanna know, did they actually run this by her or did you guys just decide to do this? because I think you guys just wanted to humiliate her. Hello, Miranda, your TLC producer, and you must be Miguel. Yes, the thin husband, and you, you must be Clarissa. Very rotund, glistening even. Camera guy, get a quick shot of her. Yes, zoom in. Make sure to get that double chin. Let me see what you got. Oh yes. You're perfect. Now, question, what do you feel about someone driving by while you're walking down the street and yelling out the car, you fat, smelly, nasty, hairy, gross, ugly cow? She loves it, action! All right, enough of those, back to the show. We deal with this kind of all the time, but like, this isn't the kind of world I wanna live in. All the time? Like someone yells, you're a fat cow, like out the window every single day you guys walk down the street. Not saying it doesn't happen, but all the time. Everyone is just calling you a fat cow and mooing in your face. And yes, Yoshi's still behind me. <laughs> that was so mean. Oh, and there is the thumbnail. I definitely thought it was the husband that was being fat phobic, but no, it's the random people in a car. You know what though? I do have to give TLC the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they didn't script it. Some people might see a camera and you know when people see a camera, they're either very shy or they show their whole ass and think, why are these people who are getting filmed so special? And especially a fat woman, excuse you? She's getting filmed and not me, a special guy. And they're very just jealous as to why they aren't on TLC hot and heavy. And now they just wanna make her feel really bad. Total possibility as well, but it just felt very staged to me. <laughs> yeah, he's obviously uneducated. Yeah, that would make me feel better, Ricardo. That's not what happened. He's an asshole, not uneducated. He's a butt face. Get it right. <laughs> I want to go drive down the street and see if I see his car and pull him out of it. Well, then do it. Don't just talk about it. Be about it. Hunt him down like a barbarian and fight in her honor. Since you love her body so much, it's the least you could do. She bared your child. She's the apple of my eye. And then there's bags like that that make her feel like she's you know, gum on the sidewalk. It sounds like like when I was a nanny, the little boy to his brother would be like, and they're both five and six and be like, I'm gonna go beat you up or do something like crazy. Like I'm gonna like throw you down the stairs and lift you up. Cause I'm so, you know, like it's just like so absurd. Like you're actually not gonna do that. Actually, I believe a little kid saying that more than a grown adult saying that because you'll go to jail, sir. That cow over there, <laughs> she's 10 times the person you are. Okay, I know what he was trying to say. Like that's, it just didn't come out what you, how you think it. You called your wife a cow. Are you okay? I'm like just done with today. Not one of the producers coming over to make sure she's not emotionally distraught. Yes, you did great. That was perfect. Good job. That was actually really fun. Ooh, she's, she's crying. Yeah, she's crying. Yes, thank God. We did it. I think we pushed it a little bit too far for this one. Not at all, this is perfect. Yeah, that's right, we got the shot. Very natural, everyone will think this actually happened. They'll never suspect a thing, but you know, go check on her for the dramatic effect. I promise we're done with those. <laughs> okay, we are, no more of those. They're very annoying to edit. No. <laughs> I tell her every day she's beautiful and you know, she has days where she doesn't feel like it and then a day where she does like today, now she doesn't. It's crazy how just one comment can just kill, murder your whole day. Like you, you feel horrible, right? About yourself. Think that you look like a butt. 
Then you think, you know, I'm just gonna put in the effort to make myself feel better about how I look. And then you do. You take time, you get up, you dress up, you do your makeup, and then that one person comes over and calls you a cow while you're walking down the street trying to enjoy some ice cream. And you're just like, I just want to take her home and tell her she's beautiful and love her. By giving her more food, that's literally what's going to happen. She's going to go home. Let me go. I'm not even in the mood for this anymore. She won't be hungry for a while. She's not going to eat for a bit, and she's going to cry a lot. And then he will go get her favorite meal. Set up some candles, clean up the house, hopefully, you know, take care of the kid. They do have a baby. And then he's going to go knock on the door. She's going to open it, and she's going to smell the glorious food. So probably her favorite restaurant. And by that time, she's going to be very hungry. And probably remember throwing out her whole ice cream that she didn't want when those people called her fat. And she's going to want to, one, make up for it, and two, eat because she's starving because she probably starved herself for the rest of the day. Then she will eat more than she would have originally because she's got that in intense hunger feel and you don't make the best decisions when you have that feeling. I've been through this before. Classic overeating binge routine. So I understand wanting your wife to feel beautiful and loving every ounce of her body. But also, once again, it's like, it's very odd because there's that line of, I mean, I love my wife. She should be healthier so we can live long, especially if we have a kid. Don't you want to see them grow and then like actually enjoy watching them grow and being able to move? But also, dang it, I need my penis to be happy too. And I just don't like thinner women. I like them as big as possible, right? I don't know. It's, it's, it's very sick to me. That is a uh, attraction that I will shame because it's not healthy. So yeah, unless the fat person is just fine with being like that. I don't know. I just feel like some obese people are so broken. They don't know and they don't know where to start when it comes to eating healthier and they're extremely addicted to sugar. And then there's this guy or woman because there's women that are in statue and they're just feeding into their addiction. It's like someone who really doesn't know where to turn when it comes to alcohol. And then they're like, I really want to quit. But then there's this person saying, no, I love that part about you. And it kind of just influences them to continue. Yep, so that's what I'm pretty much thinking of. Anyway, that was the date that was ruined by some good old fat phobia. But the whole relationship was ruined by infidelity. You know I'm nosy, so I went to Adriana's Instagram to see how she was doing. Well, she seems very happy, enjoying summer, has two kids now, but there was no sign of Ricardo. In fact, she was snuggled up to an Australian man, and many people in the comment section were saying upgrade. Apparently, Ricardo cheated on Adriana, so not only does Ricardo make empty promises, he will not fight a man on the streets like a barbarian, but he's also not committed or a nice guy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want another hot and heavy episode, I've got two links below just for you. I also just posted a little Disney food vlog. Yeah, I dabble in Disney treats. I just try to not overeat. And that's on my second channel, also links below. Come hang out with me at Disney. And remember, you do not have to be a size two. Having big biceps is wonderful, but not needed to be healthy. But health is important and obesity is something we should, I personally think we should all strive to not be. You know, you don't have to be super thin, but to be so overweight, it's hard to walk. Kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's pushing into uh, un very unhealthy. Okay, we don't want that. Just like being too much and having an excessive amount of muscle atrophy, like you're just really, really tiny and you're crumbling. We don't, we don't want to crumble either. We don't want to naturally roll down hills and we don't want to crumble while we take one step. You guys have an absolute great day and I will see you next time. Wake up, honey, I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels too. A new day is waiting for us. We got lots of fun stuff to do. Let's go to the zoo and feed the monkeys. I can lend them your baseball cap. Let's make the day a very lot of fun. Growing up is just a trap.